the Economic Community of West African States decided at its extraordinary summit in Abuja on Saturday, February 24, to lift sanctions against Niger. The immediate impact of this measure is already being felt on Benin's borders. In Benin, the lifting of restrictions has led to the opening of the border post between the two countries at Malanville, a town some 750 kilometers north of Cotonou. However, no progress has been made on Niger's side. Benin has had its border with Niger open for the passage of goods in both directions. Despite Benin's switch action, in response to the lifting of ECOWAS sanctions, transporters still block at the Malonville border. On Niger's side of the border, barriers are still in place and no movement has been registered. It is a status quo. The authorities of the National Council for the Protection of Homeland seem impervious to the lifting of the ECOWAS sanctions. For the time being, General Tiani's team has not responded to the sub-regional body's resolution on the crisis in Niger. The summit, attended by the head of states of Togo, Benin, Ghana, Sierra Leone, Senegal, Guinea-Bissau, Nigeria, and Ivory Coast, decided to immediately lift all sanctions against Burkina, Guinea, Mali, and Niger. In addition, all ECOWAS and Economic Community of West African State sanctions against Niger, including economic, air, and border sanctions, were lifted with immediate effects.